There are a wide range of functions in Multiframe for applying loads to the structure. The simplest is the automatic self-weight. We can create a load case which automatically applies self-weight to all of the members. I'm also going to create a live load load case and I'm going to use this to show the application of joint loads. We can select any number of joints, choose the joint load command and choose a load direction and a load magnitude to apply those loads to those joints. I'm going to use another load case, a dead load load case, and this is to demonstrate member loads. We can select members and apply local or global distributed loads to them. We choose a load shape, a load direction, and a load magnitude. To apply a different load to the end members, I can select them, use the same command, but apply a different magnitude. If I create a wind load load case, I can use that to demonstrate area loads. Area loads are applied by way of load panels, which are defined in our modeling view. I can sketch load panels, so here I'll sketch a rectangular load panel. A load panel is supported by the members around its edges, so any pressure applied to the panel is automatically then applied to the members. Here we've got three panels on our windward wall. If I go to a front view, I can select one half of the roof, and there's an auto-generate command to generate the panels automatically in the roof and the same on the other side. So we have our roof panels and finally I'll select my windward panels and in plan view I'll use the mirror command to automatically mirror them over to the leeward side so that we have panels on the leeward side as well. Back in the load window we select our load panels and then use the load panels command so this time a global command again a direction and a magnitude to apply that pressure to the structure. On the windward side of the roof we can this time use a local panel load, a load direction and a pressure which is applied perpendicular to the structure. On the other side of the roof, on the leeward side, I'll use the same command but we'll have the load go in the opposite direction and a slightly different magnitude and finally if I select my windward panels I'll choose another global load a direction and a magnitude is applied. So that's applied all of our different loads to our different load cases. We also have a number of other load cases in multi-frame so that we can create cases due to seismic loads, due to motions or accelerations and we can actually automate wind loading if we define a wind profile. That completes our summary of loads application in multi-frame. Thank you for watching.